Now, someone asked, how do I filter this data set by zip code? If we come over to this sheet, this is how we had to do it in earlier versions that were not Microsoft 365 Excel. If you have M365, then it's easy. Now, we're going to use the filter function, but notice we can't do an exact match. We have to search for a particular area code based on whatever's in that cell. So we're going to use the search function to generate an array of trues and falses. Now I want to find that text, comma, click on data within this range right here. Now what search does is it finds a subtext string within a larger text string and reports the position. So basically, we're going to get for 206 a 2, and then a bunch of errors, a 2, and so on. Now I'm going to close parentheses, and when I hit Enter, I jump back, and there it is. The number is the trigger to get filter function to filter. Now, filter can handle these errors, but no problem. F2, we say is whatever's in the cell a number. Control Enter. Now we get exactly what we want. I want to extract record. No, no, extract. We come up here, F2. That's going to be in the allow argument of filter. So filter the array. I got to go back over to data, highlight. Notice there is a sheet reference. There's the range, comma. I have a table with the same number of rows as that array right there. And that's our formula. When I hit Enter, sure enough, if I change this to 510, bam, just like that, I filtered that data set by an area code. All right, we love Microsoft 365 Excel because that's a lot easier than how we used to have to do it. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.